today's Maruti's capacity in the industry is only 35 percent and our market share is over 50 percent. So I think uh, one should look at it in that perspective. 80 percent was in a very different perspective. Now it is a different perspective and I think 50 percent uh, share is fairly good for a manufacturer whose capacity in the industry is only 35 percent. In what is being perceived as an effort to win back market share, Maruti announced price cuts on its small car models. The 800cc variants will now cost rupees 10,000 to rupees 20,000 less. The price of its newly launched wagon R has been reduced by 25,000 and of its multi utility vehicle Omni by rupees 12,000. The new prices are to stay in effect for the next three months. If there is a feeling that this is a price benefit that I can only get for three months and it covers the slack months because the summer and uh, early monsoon months is a period when traditionally the market is a bit sluggish. So therefore, this could uh, give a little boost to the high volumes which the production capacities can, uh, can deliver. Experts believe that Maruti Udyog was affected due to a drop in sales of its popular model Maruti 800. This model itself accounted for 49% of total sales of Maruti. And in order to boost sales, Maruti even introduced the environment friendly Euro 1 and Euro 2 versions earlier this year. But sluggishness in sales resulted in Maruti's unsold inventories across the country to reach a figure of around 27,000. The Indian customer has become very conscious of styling. The 800 remained the 800. It, it was not seen as a new 800 and there was no major styling change or anything. There was just a little sticker saying 5 speed uh, uh, MPFI, MPI. So it, there was not enough to tell a person that this is a brand new car. So therefore that big lift that the market had been expecting I don't think uh, took place. And as a result, this added to the accumulation of stocks in the, uh, in the dealerships. While increasing competition in the small car segment took its toll on Maruti, the imposition of uniform sales tax of 12% further added to a decline in sales. But according to some experts, the cut in prices may help in gaining market share, but it may also have an adverse impact on the brand image of Maruti, as customers who purchased cars prior to the cut may feel the unfairness of the company's actions price cut uh, without any change in specifications, it's a different matter that you remove certain uh, uh, features and then you give it at a lower cost, then people don't mind it. But when you get this, exactly the same model, uh, which I bought last month for X and I can buy it uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in the next month, I feel cheated. We thought that for some time, let people not postpone their purchases, let's kickstart the market, let's get some more activity and bring it more reachable, affordable. So that's why we have done it and the result has been very satisfactory. While the new Maruti consumer remains happy and the not so new a bit unhappy, industry watchers feel that if the price reduction continues beyond the proposed time, other manufacturers may just be compelled to reorient their marketing strategies. Auto experts feel that in that case, the small car segment in India might just be witness to another boom three months down the road.